very good morning to all my viewers and my subscribers. Today is our last game in Phnom Penh and we have come back to this Patanak Golf Resort. We have played the members course on the first day which is beautiful and there is the, the west course. And so today now we are back into this clubhouse again and, uh, and this Usually this is a golf club which has got driving range right in the main clubhouse so you can actually have a quick warm up before you go and tee off. Anyway, we are going to enjoy East Coast today. Yeah. Good morning ladies. Have a good day. Yeah, good morning. Look at the lush landscape of this club. Patanak Golf Resort. Uh, a view of this magnificent clubhouse. Right, Maria Pan, your name is on the buggy, yeah. and here you are. Yes. Okay. Good Hello. Good morning. Right. Good morning. Yo. How's <laughs> on? Yep. Uh, Hi. Louis. Hi. Jerry Louis. Yes, Hi. Jerry Louis. Right again, second round. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, looking very handsome. Oh, and my classmate here, Lok Wai Hong. Yeah. Oh, this is a view of the clubhouse from the, uh, the side where you're going to tee off. Looking very nice, very nice landscaping. Okay. Oh, we'll be teeing off on the uh, tenth D, which is the outward nine, and this is hole number ten. Beautiful. Look at that. Lots of bunkers. Right. We're going to uh, tee off now. Okay. We're on the tenth D. We're on the tenth uh, hole as we are pushing the green. See the uh, uh, Uncle Ward there. As you can see our screen here. Here we are. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Hole number 11, as you can see here. Hole number 11 is a par 4. Dock leg to the right, as you can see. It's got this water hazard to, uh, to trap these adventurous long hitters. We finished hole number 11 and we are now going to hole number 12. Look at this landscaping. This is the halfway house. Still early morning. Hardly any customers. Oh, nice to be greeted by this stone lady here. Another one here so that you don't miss it. So we're at hole number 12, which is a par 3, 160 meters. Let's take a look at the hole. Again, water hazard. Water hazards on the right hand side. Uh, a wayward shot would end up in the water. Okay. This hole number 13, which is a par 5. Very nice, with this uh, cannonball tree in the back. Okay, let's look at the hole. Just uh, keep in on the tea box. Again, lots of bunkers. Make use of a lot of bunkers to make you know, the hole difficult. Good shot. Of course, it's designed by a team of Taiwanese and Japanese. And uh, again, they use a lot of bunkers. Look at this par 5 hole. Number 13 is full of bunkers to guard this green. 14, par 4, 388 yards long. Let's go and play. So we're now looking at uh, hole number 14, which is a par 4. Wide fairways, very friendly. A few bunkers at the sides there to trap people. Monument here on the way to the 15th hole. Uh, 
pole number 15, which is a part 3, 170 meters long. Right, so this is a part 3, pole number 15. Part 4, index 5, pole number 16, 371 yards. Hole number 16, par 4, and this is uh, 358 meters long, and there are two elephants there. Uh, two elephants sitting looking at us, so we better make sure we hit a good shot. Yeah, 17, right, hole 17, that's uh, par 4, 330 yards, okay. Got hole 17. And uh, in next one, and look at all these uh, water hazards out there. Bunkers on the left and bunkers in the far end. Okay, never mind, let's do it. Guarding the green of uh, the seven, 17 green is this Angkor Wat here. Beautiful. And this uh, water feature in front. Hole number 18, part 5. Nice landscaping here. So this is hole number 18, which is a par 5, heading back towards the clubhouse. As you can see the imposing clubhouse in the back there. And Keepin is ready on the tee to, to, cap, to uh, tame this hole. Okay, good luck Keepin. Right in the middle of this 18 hole, what a feature, there is a pavilion here for functions like weddings and gatherings. Uh, I was told that uh, to get to the pavilion, you can use buggies to get there. I say something, I love you or whatever, okay? Come on, one, two, three, say something. I love you. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is hole number one, par five of the east coast of Watanak. All right, this is uh, the outward night that we're playing now. Right, this is how the hole number one looks like. Very generous wide fairways and uh, bunkers, waste bunkers. They're all on the left. Number two, par four, 369 yards. Okay. Okay, we have a look at hole number two, which is a par four. Yeah, 365 meters long. It's a huge waste bunker here. That's a tie on the tee box, all ready to go. Well, just off the beaten track here of the second fairway, there is a little lake here where we are so busy playing golf that we didn't get to see it, you see. Look at this, this is a, supposedly a lake and uh, lotus is growing on it and uh, well, you see the lotus fruits are even there uh, and you can see there, wow. That it stretches all the way there, yeah, and then it goes down like a river over there. Okay, it's amazing. Three par four, 385 yards. Hole number three with the clubhouse in the background, and it's a big water feature, the pond that goes around the whole golf course. Right, so pretty wide fairway. Okay, let's uh, check it out. Hole number four, which is a par three, 152 yards long, and it is uh, overlooked by this this uh, tap from from uh, Angkor Wat. All right, so look at this beautiful uh, replica of of uh, a relic from Angkor Wat. Hole number four, a part three hole. Again, surrounded by bunkers. Okay, well, let's uh, check it out. We're looking at hole number five. It's a part four, 327 meters long, meters long and uh, wide fairways. 
bunkers on both sides. Okay, let's clear this hole. Number six, par four, 357 meters. Okay, this is a par four, hole number six. Water feature is on the left here, and bunkers all around here. Hole number seven is a par four with 383 yards. Now let's look at hole number seven, which is a par four, pretty long par four. Wide fairways, bunkers probably don't come into play. We we'll come to hole number eight, which is a par three at uh, 141 yards, index 16. Well, not a long hole, 161 meters, but uh, well protected by bunkers, as you can see. Bunkers are just everywhere and the greens are raised up. Okay, okay, this is the last hole of the day, par 5, hole number 9, 476 yards. Okay, the last hole of the inward 9. Oh, sorry for the, uh, for the day and uh, it's a clubhouse in the background. Pretty much a simple fairway, but uh, there could be some hidden traps out there. And there's a pavilion for functions there. Okay. Well, one last look at this uh, replica of Uncle Wat as in Siam Rip as we finish this uh, the nine hole. Right, okay, did you enjoy the game today? Yeah! Right. Yes. Want to come back again? Yeah! Alright, okay. The camera. Thank you very much, Caddy. I'm doing yes. the camera. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. goodbye.